In IOTA Tutorial 9, I quickly explained how an IOTA address is calculated. In this video, I will explain in detail how the key, digest and address are calculated. The generation of a key, digest and address all starts with a seed. How the key is calculated, see this link and search this function. Every index number refers to an address, also known as public key, and each address has a corresponding unique key also known as the private key. The seed is a randomly generated 81 trites converted to trits. The index number is an integer and every address has a corresponding index number. The length is the security level. You have security level 1, 2 or 3. This is the code to calculate the key. You can find this code in the iota.crypto.js library version 0.4.2. This is step A, where you calculate the subseed. The subseed is calculated by adding the seed and the index number together. The subseed size is 243 trits. This is step B, where the subseed is hashed. The subseed size is 243 trits. This is step C, and it will be explained in the next two slides. Please note, the curl function uses the Ketchak384 hash algorithm. In the future, this might change. In this slide, I will explain how this key is calculated. This is security level 1, divided in 27 steps from 0 to 26. This is security level 2, also divided in 27 steps. And the next slide, you will see security level 3. You start with the subseed from step B, hash the subseed, and assign it to the buffer array. This buffer size is always 243 threads. The key size depends on the security level, as mentioned over here. If you use security level 1, your key size range is from 0 to 6560. If you use security level 2, your key size range will be key 0 to key 13121. If you take this buffer array, you assign this buffer array to this key array in this manner. Key index range 0 to 6560 is called the key fragment. If you use security level 2, the key fragment range will be from key index 0 to key index 13,121. If you use security level 3, the key fragment range will be key index 0 to key index 19,682. For each security level 1, 2 and 3, you can find its key sizes in trits. And here are the key sizes in trites. This is a simplified explanation, but now using trites instead of trits. You have the subseed, but in trites, you hash it and assign it to the buffer array. Also in trites, you assign the buffer array to the key array in this manner. Each rectangle is called a segment, and each segment consists of 81 trites. If you use security level 1, the key consists of 27 segments of 81 trites. If you use security level 2, your key consists of 27 segments and another 27 segments of 81 trites. If you use security level 3, the key consists of 27 segments, another 27 segments and another 27 segments of 81 trites. If you use security level 1, the key has in total 2187 trites. If you use security level 2, the key has in total 4374 trites. And if you use security level 3, the key has in total 6561 trites. If you convert these trite values in bytes, you will get the following. If you use security level 1, the key size is approximately 1300 bytes. If you use security level 2, the key size is approximately 2600 bytes. And if you use security level 3, the key size is approximately 3900 bytes. Now let's see how the digest is calculated. You can find the source code in this link. Search for this function. This is the code to calculate the digest. You can find it in the iota.crypto.js library version 0.4.2. Please note the curl hash length is 243. The buffer is hashed 26 times. This is not an arbitrary chosen number. This number plays a key role in creating a signature and validating a signature. This will be explained in later videos. We again start with the security level. We have security level 1, 2 and the next slide you will see security level 3. 
Each security level has 27 steps, as you can see over here and here. We take the key array from the previous calculation and we take the first 243 elements of the key array and assign it to the buffer. This buffer will be hashed 26 times. The result is again a buffer array and this buffer array is assigned to the key fragment array in this manner. The buffer size is 243 and the key fragment size is 6561 as you can see over here. You keep repeating these steps. You take the next 243 elements of the key array, assign it to the buffer. You hash it 26 times and assign the buffer array to the key fragment array in this manner. For security level one, you create a key fragment array with these elements. If you select security level two, you create another key fragment with a key fragment size of 6,561 elements. And if you select security level three, you create another key fragment with a key fragment size of 6,561 elements. Again, you start with security level one, two, and three. The security levels are divided in 27 steps. You take the key fragment from the previous calculation, as you can see over here, from zero to 6,560. You take these key fragments, as you can see over here. You hash the key fragment and assign it to a buffer array. The buffer array is always 243. You assign the buffer array to the digest array in this manner. For security level two, you do the same. You take the key fragment, as you can see over here, hash it, assign it to a buffer array, and assign the buffer array to the digest array in this manner. The same applies for security level three. What you will get is the following. Security level one digest size is one times 81 trites. For security level 2, the digest size is 2 times 81 trites. And for security level 3, the digest size is 3 times 81 trites. Again, here's a simplified explanation using trites instead of trits. This is the key. Each square represents a segment, and each segment consists of 81 trites. Each segment is hashed 26 times, as indicated here. 27 segments forms a key fragment, as you can see over here. And these 27 segments also forms a key fragment. We take the total key fragment and hash it one time. You will get the digest and each digest consists of 81 trites. Security level one will have one digest of 81 trites. If you use security level two, you will have two digests, each consisting of 81 trites. And if you use security level three, you will have three digests, each consisting of 81 trites. This is the last step. We will now see how the address is calculated. How it is calculated can be found in this link. Search for this function. This is the code to calculate the address. The code can be found in the iota.crypto.js library version 0.4.2. For security level one, to calculate the address, Take the first 243 elements of the digest array and hash this value. For security level 2, to calculate the address, take the first 486 elements of the digest array and hash it. For security level 3, to calculate the address, take all the digest elements of the digest array and hash it. The address size is always 243 threads, which is 81 trites. Here is a simplified explanation. I've already explained how these digest values are calculated. For security level one, to calculate the address, just hash this digest consisting of 81 trites, only hash to hash it once. For security level two, take this digest and this digest together, each consisting of 81 trites, and hash it to get the address. For security level three, to calculate the address, take this digest this digest and this digest together, each consisting of 81 threads, and hash it to calculate the address. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.